Mr. Bowtie's Texas High School Sports Machine is driven by Henry Finley and McCombs Ford West, a proud supporter of all area local sports. McCombs Ford West, simply the best. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Jerome Tang, the first, uh, I believe the first NCAA men's basketball coach from Trinidad and Tobago. I know you don't want to necessarily just have that moniker, but it's still pretty big coming in from uh, the Caribbean, coaching for 20 years, it seemed like, at Baylor. And is there any kind of, uh, kind of that national pride of being able to represent that country and the United States as well? Yeah, um, I'm very proud of uh, being born in Trinidad and uh, very proud to represent the island. I uh, also grew up in St. Croix, and so I have strong roots in the Virgin Islands, and I've coached the Virgin Islands national team for, you know, better part of the last uh, 14 years. And um, so all of that is exciting, being the first, you know, black head coach uh, for men's basketball at Kansas State is, you know, historic, and uh, so I take a lot of pride in that, and, and I know that there were men before me who paved the way to give me this opportunity, and, and I just want to do the best job I can so that I maybe create some opportunities for somebody else. Probably trying to fight off Tim Duncan as the most famous guy to come from the, uh, from the Caribbean, at least in, uh, in the world of Texas. Uh, it's, it's not even close. Tim Duncan is the man, so... <laughs> Well, you're, you might be from the Caribbean, but you're, you're, it seems like you're native Texan. 30 years, 10, that you were in high school for uh, coaching in, for 10 years. Then you be on uh, Scott Drew's front staff for almost 20 years. I mean, you've really grown up with how Texas high school and Texas college basketball has kind of morphed in the last 25 years. Oh, man, I, I was uh, the recipient of great coaching in high school. Uh, Terry Lloyd at North Shore High School and um, then uh, – getting a chance to um, watch Coach Randy Weisinger and what he did at North Shore and, you know, um, that, that whole family tree that Coach Shirley produced, uh, they had a lot of influence over my life and then having a chance to recruit the state of Texas at Baylor, uh, that was, you know, very important in building my career and uh, we have the best high school basketball in the country. Uh, because of UIL and the athletic periods and then, you know, the private school leagues and being a private school coach from the state, I take a lot of a pride in that. And so, um, you know, now I just got to get a few of these guys from the state of Texas to come spend a little time in uh, Manhattan, Kansas. You, 2003 was kind of a strange year. You, you took the job with Scott Drew and he had to clean up the mess at Baylor after Dave Bliss. We know, I think that first year y'all didn't have a non, there was a year y'all didn't have a non-conference schedule. How was, how were you guys able to save the program, so to speak, and be able to build it up and eventually win that national championship? Well, like coach's dad told him when he took the job, there was no place to go but up and, uh, being a very positive man, coach was just constantly about moving forward. The staff we had, we had great coaches on staff. Matt Driscoll, who's now the head coach at North Florida, and Paul Mills is at Oral Roberts, and Grant McCaslin at North Texas. And so we've had great guys right now. Their staff is incredible. But, you know, it's, it's about your staff. It's about having a group of men that, you know, believe in the same thing and move forward. And, and you know, they have such great high school basketball in this state that if you're able to harness some of the talent, you're going to be successful and um, it obviously culminated in a national championship uh, two years ago and um, but you know uh, it was because of the work that our high school coaches done that allowed us to have players like Matthew Meyer and you know Jordan Turner and guys from the state of Texas to, to LJ Cryer guys to represent the state of Texas. And here in San Antonio, you got to coach a couple guys from San Antonio. Tristan Clark, who's part of that national championship team. Langston Love, uh, right, before, uh, who came in, and now you're uh, heading up there. What is it about uh, recruiting this part of the state and being able to being able to keep it going, so to speak? Because we have a lot of great individual pieces in Austin and San Antonio. Well, Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, uh, Houston. I mean, lots, uh, lots of talent in the state, and and that's a tribute to the high school coaches in the state, to the AAU programs in the state, the synergy that's been developing between both, uh, you know, um, that's that's been very important to the success, and, and the colleges have obviously um, benefited from that. 
Basketball is growing in Texas. Kansas, we know, is a basketball state. The Sunflower State rivalry. Bill Self has had a lot of success. I know uh, Kansas State, the last few coaches have done well. What's that biggest adjustment going to be going into Bromwich, coaching at home, and then, of course, going to the Fog where you've coached in both places as a visitor, but it's going to be different now being the head coach instead of being the assistant? Uh, you know, the thing I'm most excited about is having a home court advantage, and you definitely have that in the, in the uh, octagon of doom. Every night we're going to have a plus 10, plus 15 advantage because our student body and the fans we have and the support that they're going to bring and uh, nothing like playing in it. And if you, you know, we, we can go undefeated at home because of our home crowd and that gives us a chance to, you know, have a chance to compete for a conference championship. If you compete for a conference championship, you can win a national championship. Jerome, I'll get you out of here on this one. Not a lot of people know this, but you're also a pastor, be working as a youth pastor and helping the kids out. Now, I know when you're when the officials make an incorrect call, you you don't you don't cuss at them and you you kind of give them all that loving and stuff. But I mean, how do you kind of use that to your players and being able to re relate the two together if there is a relationship? Yeah, coaching is ministry. You know, um, you're taking a coach takes something or someone from one place and brings them to the other and that's exactly what a, a minister does and it's just about development and development of the spirit development of the mind as coaches we develop the body also but you know James Naismith when he invented this game it was a ministry tool and uh, it is still a ministry tool and I, so I take that very seriously. Jerome Tang, very appreciative for the time. Best wishes to you at Kansas State. Look forward from Texas to be following your progress up in the Sunflower State. Thank you so much for the time. Hey, go Cats.